Yes, guys. Now, if I was to ask you, what is the most important technique in football? Don't think it's skill. Don't think it's razzle and dazzle. It's got to be passing. It's got to be passing. So today, in honour of the MLS All-Star Skills Challenge presented by Target, we're going to be showing you how to hit the target every single time with your passing. That's right. Should we run for it? Let's do it. The side foot pass. This is one of the simplest but most important techniques in the whole game of football. You use the instep of your foot to pass the ball and a top tip is to point the toes of your standing foot in the direction that you want the ball to go. Frankie with a few steps of space. Maddox, corner of the 18, over to Garza, back to Maddox. Darren looking for a shot, going to pull it to the end line, centering it, Cruz gets a piece! The chip. So you would typically use the chip pass in a situation where the through ball's not on and you have to chip the ball over your opponent to a teammate. You need to get your toes to strike through the underbelly of the ball, which means scraping your studs across the turf. This should generate immediate height and a lot of backspin. The Travella. Strike the ball with the outside of your foot. A good way to remember the perfect Travella technique is to remember try three. Your three outer toes should be the ones connecting with the ball. Point your ankle inwards, slice across the ball and make contact with your three outer toes. The ping. Now this technique is used to pass the ball quickly from one side of the pitch to the other or a ball over the top. So the technique of the ping is to place your non-kicking foot beside the ball to drive through the ball through your laces area of your strong foot, just underneath the centre of the ball, and then cut across as you make impact, activating the ping techers. The volley pass. It's really important for the volley to keep your eyes fixed on the ball before and during the connection. Aim to hit the ball directly through its centre. The whippage. This technique is great for crossing the ball as quickly and as effectively into the danger area. To get the perfect whippage, you want to aim to hit the ball with the bottom of your instep, more towards the inside of your toes. Your technique should be quite side on and you should be looking to hit the edge of the ball. And don't forget, when you make contact with the ball, follow through up and over to get extra spin and extra whip. The zing pass. This type of pass is ideal for slippery and wet surfaces. The aim is to pass the ball as fast as possible to a teammate. The zing is a very similar technique to the ping. However, you want to place your knees more over the ball and keep your body more upright, keeping the ball nice and low. So when you zing the ball, it stays below knee height. The no look pass. Now the key to the no look is when you take your eyes off the ball. You can pick any passing technique that you like and all you need to do is look away before you connect with the ball. That's the no-look pass. Plant your foot next to the ball, keeping your eye on the ball. Bring your kicking leg back, and as you propel it forward to strike the ball, that's the moment you take your eyes off the ball and look behind like a bad boy. Or girl, or mum, or dad, or nan, or grand. The lofted pass. This is best in use when you're trying a long ball over the top or you're playing it to a striker to hold up the play. Times to use the lofted pass could be when it's the right time to play the pass, but you need to give your teammate a little bit of extra time to get there. So tips for the lofted pass. When striking the ball, you want to strike underneath the ball and follow through with your swing. Make sure you're leaning back to get extra height on the ball. And if you guys want a perfect example of this, watch Wayne Rooney versus Orlando for DC United. The perfect lofted pass. Loft it, Jez. And that was the loft. So there you have it, guys. That's pretty much all of the passing techniques that you would ever need in your armory in a real match situation. That's right. We can't wait to put some top MLS players to the test with the All-Star Skills Challenge in July. It's going to be epic. We hope you enjoyed this video. One question, who's the best passer of all time? Put it in the comments section below. I know, it's, I know I've thrown it in there. I'm not saying nothing, David Beckham, but love, peace, and tech.